Hey guys, welcome to the Hyperfast Show. I'm so excited to have my friend Jason, and we've been working together for a while now. So I wanted to have him on the show because I know there's a lot of real estate agents that are watching that struggle with different elements sure. of digital marketing. Yes. Right? Yes. They, the, some of the details, you guys may have an in-house marketing team. You all know I do. I have like 12 people on my marketing team, mm -hmm. and yet we still use you. So what are some of the mistakes that you see solo agents and teams Absolutely. making in their marketing? You know, I think to me the, the general observation that I have as running the agency is that every agent has a level of intention to make everything happen. Then they get, you know, pulled with a buyer, then they have to close a transaction, then they have to deal with escrow and blah, blah, blah. I think my point is that people get lost in the shuffle of staying consistent with the marketing plan yeah. from start to finish. And I feel like a lot of times they come to me after they have their high months in April or whatever month it may be, and then they start to see that dip where I haven't had any transactions in May, then they're calling me May 15th like, oh gosh, I need to get back on track. So yeah. something to the really consistency is really the challenge. It really is. Well, and I'm sure none of you watching have that problem, right? That's right. <laughs> but once you get really successful, what falls off first are the activities that aren't actually closing deals, right? Yes. So you guys are in, in likelihood are doing what you need to do to survive in the busy times. And you got to, what is it called? You got to make hay when... Uh you got to make it. I don't know that saying. Really? Am, am I? Am I? I I'm, well, I'm from a farm in Oregon, so it's something about the hay. See, gotta, I was he, I was in the sticks in a uh, little town in Michigan, but I wasn't. Um, I was still like a, a sports junkie and like a city boy at heart, I guess. Yeah. So I don't know, but all make in all, make hay when the sunshine. Okay. When the sunshine. That's it. Whatever it is, what I want for you guys is. Even if you don't have consistency, it wouldn't be normal for us to say, hey, you should do two deals a month every month and never have it change. And that way you can fit in all of your prospecting and all of your marketing and everything else. That's Absolutely. just unrealistic, Yes. Right? And one of the things that I really took away today, and, and you know, I've heard this and I'm sure you've heard it too. When they are, you know, zigging, what are we doing? We're zagging. Zag. Yeah. So stay, stay creative and stay in your own kind of zone with the marketing plan that works for you and not what everybody else is doing. So give us some examples of ways you support agents and their teams to help them have consistency in their marketing even when their time that they can dedicate to it is not consistent. Absolutely. So five years ago when I started the agency, I had a heavy presence with web integrations, building on WordPress platforms where we really individually customize the and tailor the website to the actual wants and needs of the client versus here's a cookie cutter type of website that is going to be a, a, a generic one that we put across the board. Sure. So what we really do when we consult with our agents is take the community that they service in, build out community pages that are reflective of their actual selling territory, uh -huh. and then putting that together with their, with their brand and matching that. So I would, I would say that's really where we start to thread the needle for the agent. And then within the agency, we do, we do business cards for you. We do um, you know, email integrations for you. We do postcards, graphic design. So we're really a full service real estate model at this point. Well, and our business cards used to be like, I think we got them from Moo something, mm -hmm. right? Like they, they were just like everybody else's. And we're here at a mastermind at Closing Table. And the, the thing that stood out from one of the speakers that wrote the book Giftology today, he was oh, talking gosh. about standing out with your business card. You probably wanted to jump up and down and cheer, I did. right? Yes. And now I can say we absolutely stand out because you helped us develop a different strategy for our for cards. Sure. They have a blue outline, which is our yeah. branding color, right? And that's They're really really substantial and nice and people notice them at networking events mm -hmm. and, and as i recall what we did is you know we kind of went to the drawing board with all of your past marketing things that you had in place yep. and then reconfigured something that worked in unison across the board with everything else that you were doing yes so i feel like that's really where we kind of tied the knot together we did yeah. and i went from feeling like a little bit embarrassed about my cards <laughs> and like oh they're just like everybody else's like they have round edges but 
they're on like crappy paper and they're just not the same quality. And now when I hand someone my card, I'm just waiting for their reaction because I know they're going to be like, wow, this is really nice. Yes. We try Every to, time. We try to have you pull up in a Ferrari with your, <laughs> with your business card. So if there's someone watching today that wants to reach out to you to get support, how should they reach out? They can go to hyperfarmer.com, H-Y-P-E-R-F-A-R-M-E-R.com. Um, that will really entail all of our list of services and then all of our contact forms will go directly to me, myself or, or my team and then you know we can schedule a consultation call from that point on. Awesome, and if there were one piece of marketing advice that you could give real estate agents to change their business, what would it be? Be more creative with the media aspect and don't be shy to get behind the camera because you're not gonna hit a home run every single time, but all you need to do sometime is clock one dinger and then you're ahead of the game. I love it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna uh, get a home run if you're not swinging. That's right. Who said that one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. know. They didn't say it on the farm either, guys. Thank you for joining us today, Jason. I appreciate Thank you, you so being much, here. In the blooper, you guys are gonna see him rapping for our team. If you're watching, look out! Live. My 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 mixtape is coming out in 2020, <laughs> early early January. Bye, you guys. Bye. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you liked it. Give it a quick like below and comment and share. We'd love your feedback. For more videos like this, click here. And to subscribe, click here.